Eti fo ni ashofo imo bibiara akwa ba once again eba pena Steve so. Na Sabra mele o kase in the head pastor of the Glorious Wave Church International. Eye Bishop Bedu Kobe ni hon asa ba asem. Recall last year and I came Japan or they exposed be by about various men of God, a lot of them. Now, if even some of these claims are in Japan made on a TV station, which is like two TV, if even most of them are not true, car we're hoping to at least most pastors will have taken a look at this thing and change their ways, how they react, and what they do on society, especially on social media and in their churches. But Kamiya Kwesa, all that in Japan did. It fell on deaf ears as usual. The pastors who say in Japan or your Sam and answer is fighting God's work. But these actions of these pastors, no, it doesn't show that in Japan is fighting God's work. It only shows that in Japan is helping to take out the bad knots from the Christian religion. Now, I can say Bishop Bidi Kubi and then the one basem and then our match that's around 12 a.m. Ghana time. And we all know that we need the football each year, Copa America finals that's Brazil versus a year Argentina. Now, these two countries are on Mbappe Bono. Uh, we all know the winner will have taken the cup, which obviously we all know the winner. Now, three hours or few hours to this particular match, Bidi Kubi boldly, boldly came out and did a video. We'll put the video on the screens very soon. The video, you no, know, he said something that I did not kind and then a unique. And this is not the first time Bidi Kobi has done this. In fact, I can send be Bria, uh, it be we, it's you know, not just a young troll. And what is painful is that as a Christian, you no, know, I'm assuming a Christian, you know, he says these things and he pulses to God. Mami, as I may show video, you no, know, I want to just read this now, my show video of what Bidi Kobi did and how. People are saying, sir, Master, we are going to be able to do Dubai, be able to do Sorry, look at this thing on the screen. Look at it very, very, very well. Uh, this is a quotation which is coming from Galatians chapter 6, verse 7. Sorry if I didn't put the quotes there, but this is Galatians chapter 6, verse 7. And also, nevertheless, the one who received instruction in the word must share in all good things with his instructor. Do not be deceived. Do not be deceived. God is not to be mocked. Whatever a man sows, he will reap in return. 8. The one who sows to please his flesh, from the flesh will reap destruction, but the one who sows to please the spirit, from the spirit will reap eternal life. All that God is telling us, is that, and aside from that too, whatever we are doing in this world, whether it's in the name of God and that we are using God to do, you no, know, we will be judged. It's for ancient video, for the clarity of things, you no know, video I to screen so no main question and cover old videos. So I'll be going straight to Bidi Kobe's uh, Facebook timeline. As you guys can see, this Bidi Kobe's uh, Facebook timeline, which will be yes, this as you guys can see on the screen now. Who screw her? Uh, you both video my way, but I'll show say prophet by me highlight it. Prophet Bedu Kobi and a prophet Dr. Imano Bedu Kobi prophecy concerning Copa America final match between Argentina and Brazil. Remember, Niger Gizzi did the same thing the last time. Obeka said a prediction kekena or a top fan of Kotoko. Let us listen to what Bedu Kobi said in this video. Uh, it is so sad. Fellow great people. Especially those who watch me, those who follow me, those who always asking me questions about things that happen, things that will happen, things that are about to happen. I only have the privilege because I'm connected to God. And I stand as his mouthpiece or his prophet in terms of delivery to people. I think for days, since yesterday, people have been questioning me what will be the outcome of Brazil and Argentina in the Copa American Cup. And I deem it the rare privilege to come back to you and just to let you know what is going to happen. And the truth is so simple. Let me say this before I give you what will happen. Let me say this. Most people don't know this and they question. How can a prophet be talking about football? How can a prophet be talking about health? How can a prophet be talking about energy? How can a prophet be talking about future matters? Let me tell you a mystery you need to know. Nebuchadnezzar was able to say, Now I know in the book of Daniel, chapter 4, he said it. Now I know that the most high God rules in the affairs of men. 
when God was able to make him an animal. God rules in men's matters. There's nothing you can say for this one. God is not interested. He's interested in everything. Why? He made men, and his interest is men and their affairs. Now, for the match that will happen tonight, which is between Brazil and Argentina, Brazil will win. Argentina will not win. Messi is part of Argentina. He's a great footballer, but the night is not for them. The cup is for Brazil. And Brazil will win this cup. That is what the Spirit of the Lord has revealed to me. Brazil will win this cup. And so, that is what the Spirit of God has told me. And that's what I'm delivering to all those who are following me. All those who want to know what will happen. Brazil will win this cup tonight. So shall it be. And I'm saying this hours before the match is played. So that you get to know that the Spirit of God is truth. He reveals and so it is. Brazil will win this cup tonight. Thank you. You watched is very disgusting. The video you watched is very humiliating, especially Anesandia, a Christopher Kwa story. What is all this? What is happening in this country? What is happening in this country? And you realize in some more can you know or such a spirit of God, the spirit of God. Is Bedu could be trying to tell us that the spirit of God is a liar? Now, all can I not say God has an interest in the affairs of men. Indeed, God has an interest. But also who Bible God has left everything for us because in the Bible, God used to rule us through his prophets. Yes, he and and he can say, he can say, he leaders. He left everything for us. There are whole lot of things that, of course, we are here. I know God is there, but we just hear Pamaye because the world will surely come to an end, and that is what we Christians will believe. Oh, come on, come on, me. You can say it's just a mere prediction, but you saying the spirit of God, the spirit of God, the spirit of God. How are you going to answer it now? Now. These things are costing a very serious in a way. It's uh, a thing for we've been saying this for the past two years. Say if you don't stop this thing, it will mean chaos. Ghana is a Christian loving nation. In fact, what to do quite now about Ghana, you realize say, Ghana and your family are so very seriously. We believe in God. We are a Christian nation. We are a Christian nation. Ain't he said past a a man for dinichi? Or more believing or say or a man of God or sorry cause we need be see we need be see what me crack as this political party will win this will happen this what happens because people believe in him that he's the mouthpiece of God as he said in his own video if he says the political party will win they will think he will win and the will of God that I now can say let the people vote for their own people no if another party should win you will clearly see say party no more winning and if you and one day one day one day a budget gone we gonna put this video the de, uh, down use this as a mark you are showing here one day a budget is more gonna because people will see that's all you are seeing up to now but gonna people still believe say i go for the rig the election how is that possible i know never one or two inconsistencies because so but how how did he read the lesson? And these are the works of pastors. Niger Gezia can end this be winning. Bedu Kubia can end this be winning. All the other pastors are can end this be winning. So when it doesn't happen that way, they say the election has been rigged. I can't die. A man for best story say, hey, yeah, but say, he took the legitimate president, if he so, not at the chaos. But is that what we want to see as a nation before we set up? Very sad, but it could be. You should be doing something better. You should be using your space for something better. But Waka, you still have people defending him. He's the mouthpiece of God. We'll give you more updates as all of these various events continue to unfold in our beloved country, Ghana.